My name is Brandy Graves. I work for the Kentucky Department of Agriculture based out of Frankfurt. Um, this is the, one of the three mobile science, science units that runs in the state of Kentucky. I run the central region. We go to elementary schools and we do eight different experiments or demonstrations that relate to agriculture. We want to make sure they know where their food comes from. So, first thing we're going to talk about though is what are some brands of lip balm you can buy at the store? Brands, not flavors, brands. Um, the brand name. Who, what company made it or? It's like Chap, like Chap Lock. Chapstick? Yeah. That's one, that's a big one. Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees. Carmax. Carmax. EOS, uh-huh. Yep, in the little eggs. What else? Lip Smackers is the brand. Lip, Vaseline's a brand. All that. Those are all brands. A lot of those are medicated, guys. What we're going to make is just going to be flavored. It's not lipstick, boys. Everybody can use it, okay? I promise, all right? No, and it's not for you to eat. It's free to put on your lips, okay? We're going to be putting it in some some of these type containers. It's not going to be in your regular twist-up container. This is what a lot of the Carmax and your um, Vaseline comes in, okay? These are better containers. That's why we use them, okay? Because we're going to put a lot of, we're going to pour the liquid in there being hot, right? Okay? Now, where does all this start with, guys? Raise your hand. What's it all start with? Um, it starts with, like, like it starts out of fact with some of them. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Beeswax? Not beeswax. Any type of wax? Nope. Y'all are thinking outside the box today, not inside the box. What's on the board? So, um, so each? No. Bees, okay, it all starts with bees. Ding, ding, ding. Bees, right? Y'all are thinking too hard today. Bees, right? It all starts with bees. Yes, it may end up in a factory, but a lot of times people can do this at home themselves, okay? Bottom left picture. What's that bee going to collect? He ain't going to collect honey. Pollen. Not pollen. Nectar. nectar, okay? He's collecting nectar as much as he can from that flower. Now, that's a blown up picture of that bee, right? They're not that big, okay? Honey bees are not that big. Now, do you know that honeybees have two stomachs? Really? What are they called? You shaking your head, yeah? Or what are they used for? Their own food. Yeah. They don't look big enough to have two stomachs, do they? But you wouldn't want that stuff mixed together, would you? No. Okay. So the nectar is in one, their food is in the other. So when they go back to the hive, they can put the nectar back into it. Okay? All right, the top right picture, guys. What does what does he have all over him when they come out of the flower? Right there, sweetie. Oh, pollen. pollen. Okay, whether they realize it or not, whether it be yellow, white, whatever color, they're going to have pollen all over them once they come out of that flower. Okay. Now they go from flower to flower, collecting as much nectar as they can, so they go back to the hive. What's that process called? They're dropping that pollen, right? Um. It's. Uh, Help him out. Pollination, they're pollinating things. That's why I said they're dropping pollen. Pollination, right? They're pollinating things as they go along, whether they realize it or not. Remember last, this past spring we had stuff blooming early? Then it snowed again, right? And now we've had to get really hot, then go really cold, and then now we're back to mild. Okay, because a lot of flowers already got the frost, so they can't grow anymore. And it, it's just the way the weather is this year. It's Kentucky weather, you know. Welcome to Kentucky, okay? All right, now we need to meet the beekeeper, guys, okay? Is he wearing his Halloween costume for tomorrow? No. Raise your hand. What's he wearing and why? Yeah, right here in the maroon. He's wearing it so that the bees don't stick him whenever yes. he's going in. That's a protective suit. Now, why is it that white or that khaki color? Why wouldn't he go out there wearing orange or pink or purple? Yes, yeah, they might be attracted to those, right? These colors, one, they're easier in the summer to wear. You don't want to wear a black either because that's going to repel the heat, okay? So, you're going to wear these, these lighter colors. Now, a lot of people I've talked to, guys, a lot of these have these hives as hobbies on their farm. Or, or some universities are doing research on them on different people's properties, okay? You might see them behind people's houses. These bees are really quiet. I mean, you really got to make them mad to upset them, okay? But right now, he's smoking. That's a smoker. He's smoking into the hive, okay? It does make the bees sleepy. It's just going to have them take a little nap, then they're going to wake back up and go to work, okay? It's there so he can collect stuff or change stuff out, okay? Every couple of months or just to check on them. Now, wintertime, do you check on them as much? No, because they don't like moisture and coldness, and you could kill them by opening that hive, okay? All right? So, he's smoking in the hive, guys. Now, you see how big the hive is. There's one open with all the sections in it. Now, 
How many, I'm going to take three guesses. How many thousands of bees do you think are in there at any estimated time? Not a certain time of the year, just an estimated time. How many? 5,000. Okay. 7,000. Okay. In the blue jean jacket. 10,000. 20,000 at an estimated time. They don't need that much work, room to work, right? They're really small. They work well together. Okay, I guess they don't fight like brothers and sisters do all the time. Okay, all right. I have a twin brother, I know. Okay, all right. So those hives are colonies. That's about 20,000 bees, guys. And they stack them three or four high, okay, off the ground. All right. And then over here, he's pulling these different sections out. Raise your hand. What are those sections called? What are those sections called? Um, <laughs> like, the, like, cause like, like you pull them out you like change that, those out, yes. Like they have like that's what you extract the honey off of. Yeah, that's uh -huh. the honey. Uh, yep. The combs? Yeah, but put it together. What's it? Honeycombs. Honeycombs, okay. Sometimes we get to the point like, what's cereal? Okay, honeycombs is a cereal. You see the backdrop of the picture, guys, right? This is what it looks like on those hive plates, on those different sections. Now, raise your hand. What's the shape of the, each of those little honeycomb cells? Yeah, on the black, but... Hexagon, it's got six sides. A lot of people will pop off and say octagon. No, it has six sides, okay? That's what the bees work in. Now, once they pull those out, it's a long process to extract the honey. We could spend another day talking about that, okay? Because we actually did it once. We had some bees, they actually started outside. We have a rock house. They came in down a crevice between the living room and my parents' room, and they were in the wall. There was hives stopped on hives. You couldn't hear them. But they come in there and tore a section about this big of the wall out. And they, they suck the bees up, and then he would take them home. You know how many days he wore a bee suit in a week? One day. And he got stung twice. His wife wore one every day. She took the bees back home, because you only can leave them in those containers for so long. But they took thousands of bees away. And he, he thought he got the queen. You don't know if you get the queen, because you won't know until the bees won't start coming back or whatnot, right? If the queen leaves, are they going to stay? No. So he had to open one more section. I'm glad he did, because it was the biggest section of it. And then we extracted the honey, or my dad did. I'm like, are you done with that yet? It took him forever. We had a 250, we had the honeycomb in a 250 gallon um, cooler, and it took forever because you got to extract it through all types of different things. It's worth it because it is worth some good money. Okay? All right? But guys, once he pulls these out, every few months they pull them out and change them. I can't pinpoint what day, all of them are different. But once he pulls those out, what's left in the hive? The bees are, but what, one of our main ingredients is left in that hive. And it doesn't come out in either one of these forms. It doesn't come out in either one of these forms. Back to the counter. Okay. Yeah. Wax. What kind? What are we working with today? Beeswax. Beeswax, okay? It's beeswax, all right? I'm just showing you how hard it is. All right? So, we get it in this form, the block form, or we get it in these pellets, okay? I'll pass this around. Don't throw it or I'll throw you out of the trailer, okay? Pass around, feel it, smell it, okay? And I'm not going to pass this around because I don't want these all over my trailer, okay? But well, you can also get it in like little smaller forms or you can get it in about 50, 50 pound or 100 pound forms, you know, with a forklift. You can lift it up. But you could use the own wax to make your own candles and so forth too. You could scrape it out of the hive, okay? But we get ours, um, we're soon to be getting it locally. That's one of the main ingredients, okay? This is the other good old vegetable oil. Raise your hand. What's this nice stuff made out of? How'd you know that? Um, last year we did, a, a Did you? Okay. What's the largest crop raise hand that we raise in <laughs> that you raise in this county and probably the state of Kentucky too? Corn. Corn. What's number two? Tobacco. Nope. Tobacco's five or six. We don't have a market for it anymore and we don't want it. Soybeans. Soybeans. What's number three? Nope, nope. It's a grain. A lot of people, a lot of crop farmers put on as a cover crop. Wheat. Wheat that they're planting right now, okay? But guys, the one only ingredient in here, it says soybean oil, right? Did a lot of y'all know that? It's only, well, you think people would buy it if it's called soybean oil? No. Probably not. It's a naming tactic. But we use it to um, cook with all types of different things. You can use it to cook with a lot of vegetables, too, and other things. A lot of people think it's made out of vegetables. Would it be this nice golden color if it's made out of vegetables? No. No, okay? So, these are our two main ingredients today, guys, okay? Now, 
this next picture, it shows you the actual honeycomb. They're still smoking into that hive to get them off there. Now, we talked about the most important bee being the queen bee, right? Already. They live three to five years and they lay 1,500 eggs a day. Yeah. And then once she dies off, I'm sure there's a pecking order how they pick a new queen. Or some people have to actually buy a new queen to bring in. Okay, and they could, they could kill her. You have to watch that. Now, guys, bees only make like a fourth a teaspoon of honey their whole life. Is that very much? No, a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, so the little jars of honey you can buy at the store, little glass jars. I don't know if they're glass anymore. They might just be plastic. Okay, or your local farmer's market. Okay, I know you all have one here. How many thousands of bees do you think it takes to make a little jar of honey? If they only can make a fourth teaspoon their whole life. I'll take three guesses. Yeah. The very back. Okay. 10,000. 10,000. What do you think? Five. Five. 22,700 bees to make one little jar of honey. Huh? Yeah. There's only 20 in that hive, but it takes a little bit more to make a whole jar. And there might be more than that in the hive at some certain time during the year, maybe during, during the winter. So it just varies. That's why I said it's just not any certain time of the year. There's around 20,000 in the hive. Okay? All right? Now, we've got to take these two ingredients, though, and make them fit in here. We're going to talk about how we got to do that in just a second. Okay? All right? It's going to be a snug fit today, don't you think? Okay? Now, we are going to go in and out of questions, okay? So, when we get to the next question, the testing manager's next, right? Okay? All right, now listen. We talked about what kind of oil it is. We're talking about what kind of oil we're using it for today, okay? So you're just going to click on You're going to come up with your answer first in your group, and then num your testing manager's going to pick it, okay? And you're just going to turn back around, and we'll talk about it and move on, okay? All right, here you go. Testing manager, get where you can get to the iPad. Here's the next question. Talk about it before you pick it. Okay. K through second are doing soybean seed necklaces. They're actually going to plant a soybean seed in the bag and watch it germinate and grow in the classroom. They're going to hang it in the window. And then third through fifth grades are going to be doing soybean lip balm. Um, it's a demonstration, but we make two different flavors. We talk about mixtures and solutions. The kids get to do hands-on on the iPads. And then they will get to go home with a lip balm as well. Okay, let's see what you put. All right, you're listening. That's good. Let's keep it that way. Okay, we called it... Soybean oil for today's purposes, right? Yes, everybody's like, oh, it says vegetable oil. But what did we say it was for today's purposes? Soybean oil, right? Okay, now, foods from soybeans, guys. Anybody know the fancy name for soybeans? They're not lima beans. They're not peas. They're not snap peas. The restaurants that cook in front of you, they serve them. Soy. Nope, no, nope, they're soybeans. Yeah, but this is the fancy name for them. Legumes? Huh? Legumes? They're a legume. Yes, they are a legume. That's the family they're in. Yep, they produce food for us and livestock. Does your teacher know? I know it and I didn't even know it until I started this job. Edanames, guys. A lot of people, you can buy them with the steam fresh bag, put salt on them. The hibachi restaurants cook in front of you, they serve them with your meal, or some salad bars have them. They're a good, healthy snack. Soybeans are very high in oil and protein. Okay? We know it can make oils. We use it in cereals. It's one ingredient in all your chocolate candies. And that's not peanut butter, that's soy butter. Some people are allergic to peanuts. There's some schools that don't even serve real peanut butter. They serve soy butter because of allergies, just in case. Now, also salad dressings, mayonnaise, use it in candles, feed, all kinds of stuff. Now, here's some products we can use, utilize it in. Carpets, the oils, we can make whole crowns out of soybeans, guys. Somebody said that's why they taste bad. I said, no, one, most are made out of wax, and two, I would not suggest eating them, okay? All right. And then they could utilize the oil to help make ink on a newspaper. They just add the black coloring, but hardly anybody uses it. And then the glassy countertops, they can use the oils to make it shiny. Okay? Yeah. Now, we've got three states of matter, right? Raise your hand. Don't blurt it out. What's this one? The orange. Yep. Yep. And then this one back there with the pink on her shirt. Liquid. Okay, like I said, we got both of these, and we've got to fit them in here. Raise your hand. How are we going to accomplish that today in the pink? The pellets. The pellets. What do you mean? No. What are we going to do with them? Throw them around? No, we're going to put them in. Put them into what with them? Mix them. Okay, mix them, and what's going to happen to them? <coughs> I'm trying to help you. get. You're getting there. Help her out. In the back, yes. 
I know, I know. But guys, what are we going to do to make it get to that form? We're going to melt down. The we're going to melt it. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to melt it. Now, if I were to melt one of these, less than 30 minutes, you could have one melted. Probably less than 20. But it fills up my whole jar really full, so we don't usually melt a whole one of these. We melt the pellets. Okay, and that's what... Keep your backs to the counter, feet up. That's why we said it's a demonstration. These are science beakers, though. So I can hold them up here. They won't burn me. It's only hot on the bottom, okay? You'll learn to use these in high school and college. Yeah, you're probably going to hate them, but it's part of life, okay? But this is the beeswax. I've only put a few handfuls in here. I just keep enough for the next few classes, okay? And that's what's in both of the little beakers because we're going to make two flavors, right? Now I'm going to add what to it? Soybean, Soybean oil. We're going to let it burn down while we do some questions, okay? Who can tell me, raise your hand, what a mixture is? What is a mixture? A mixture is two or more things put together that we can separate. Okay? Take example of salad. You got lettuce, cheese, croutons, tomatoes. Can you take the tomatoes off? Yeah. The croutons? The cheese. You can start over, right? And put whatever you want on. Okay? Also like Chex Mix. Can you take out the round breadsticks if you don't like them? Mm -hmm. Or the long ones? Or the pretzels, right? So you get what I'm saying? You can separate the stuff. There's a kid outside. You can separate the stuff, okay? That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay? So, we can separate it, all right? Along those same lines, what is a solution? Not to a math problem or an answer, it's similar to a mixture. Put together, but you can't take them apart. It does make something else, but you can't take them apart, okay? Raise your hand, give me one of the three ingredients in Kool-Aid. What's one of the three ingredients in Kool-Aid? What's one? Sugar. Sugar. Sure. Flavor. Flavor and what? Water. water. Once you mix those together, can you take back out the sugar? Mm -hmm. No, it dissolves. The water? Mm -hmm. No. Or the flavoring? Nope. No, it dissolves and changes it red, orange, purple, green, whatever color of you have, right? Okay? So, you got those separated in your brain? Okay, because we're going to do a series of food and juices and such. Your group has to decide if it's a mixture or a solution. So, we're to the record keeper, right? And then we're going to start over in a minute. Well, a lot of them don't know where their food comes from. They think you talk about chicken nuggets, they come from McDonald's. No, first they come from the chicken. Also like burgers, they come from a beef cow or possibly a dairy cow before they go through that food chain. Um, a lot of kids are so far removed from agriculture, they think it's just cows, sows, and plows, and it's not. It's a lot more than that. Um, I've grown up um, on our beef cattle farm. We've raised tobacco, hay, corn, and we still raise beef cattle. And I showed livestock growing up. So I know the importance that we need to instill in these kids to keep our agriculture industry going because it's starting to fade away and if it does I don't know where they expect us to get food from. So you gotta decide first as a group what it is not just you decide your group has to decide okay the first one we're gonna look at is chocolate cake okay you gotta decide once you're done after you pick it turn back around we'll move on we'll talk about it together and move on. Chocolate cake mixture or a solution discuss it talk about why Okay, see what you put. All right, okay. Somebody put mixture, tell me why you put mixture. We're gonna discuss both of them. Somebody put mixture. It's okay, okay, back group. Okay, tell me why. Because you can separate the chocolate. You can separate the chocolate, you can separate the cake. I see your point. Okay, somebody put solution. Tell me why you put solution. In the pink on her shirt. You can't take like, out the eggs or the This is why this gets some people, okay? It's fine, it's perfectly fine. It happens all the time, okay? You can take the icing and the cake apart, but can you take the oil, the eggs, the mixture back out of that cake or back out of the chocolate? No, okay, so you understand? It's okay, it happens all the time. I usually have more that put that than less, okay? So the mixture part, yeah, you can separate that stuff, but you can't take all the ingredients back out of it. So it is a solution, okay? Next one should be easy. It was one of my examples. We're back to the materials manager, right? Okay, next one is a salad, all right? So, yes, it is a mixture, right? Because can you take anything off that salad you want? Now, let's take it one step further. What if you put your favorite ranch, blue cheese, honey mustard dressing on it? Raise your hand. Does that change anything? It changes it because you can't take... If you put liquids together, you can't take it apart. Or if you put it on that salad, can you take it off? No. You have no, to if you try to rinse it off or lick it off, is it going to be worth it? You might as well just eat it. Or if you put like an Italian dressing that's clear, can you see that to take it off? No. And is that dressing a mixture or a solution? Solution with it, with it having soybean oil in it. That's one of the ingredients in 
salad dressings, okay? All right? So, next one. There is a juice going in each cup, okay? It's not that the juice is going in that cup, okay? There's nothing else going in that cup with it. Think about it, discuss it, decide if it's a mixture or solution, and why. All right. Okay. Somebody put mixture. Tell me why you put mixture. Did you put mixture? Yes. Um, because, like, you can't, like, in the mixture, like, it's just that one thing. You can take, you can take it out. Can you put it back into its original form? Yeah. Really? No. Oh, no. All right. to put solution. Tell me why you put solution. Back right the pink on her shirt. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. You. Okay. Uh, you can't just take the tomato juice out uh, without taking all of the juice. Yeah, but can you put it back into that tomato the same way? No. It's going to be a disaster and you're going to have a mess to clean up for your parents, okay? Here's the fun one. Think about it. Talk about it. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mixture or a solution? Okay. One mixture, resolution. Who put the mixture? It's okay. All right, why? Yeah. Can you take the bread off? Yes. Can you scrape the peanut butter off? Yeah. Can you lick the jelly off? Okay, I see your point. All right, so I have to put solution. Tell me why you put solution. Yeah. Because it's already on it, and whenever you try and take it off, it will not come off without leaving little pieces. Yeah, it's going to leave pieces. I'll go in the same place when you eat it, right? In the pink. The bread is made out of wheat and other ingredients, and you can't take them out. Tell okay, you what's the like peanut butter made out of? Peanut butter, butter or, or peanuts. peanuts. What about that grape jelly? What's it made out of? Grapes. Okay. There's two sides to every story. You all are starting to do questions that have open response, right? Okay. So you know you got to show proof or evidence. So if you get in trouble, go to the office. If there's evidence, are you in trouble? No. Yeah, yeah most of the time, yeah. Well, if there's well, evidence. It's like evidence, evidence of the innocence. innocence. And, and well, <laughs> most of the time it's evidence that you're in trouble. Okay? But... This question, okay, I didn't make the question the answer, so don't yell at me. They called it a mixture because you can take it apart. But you could put that on the test and go the easy route out. But if you wanted to explain yourself or be difficult, of course, you would put solution and have to explain yourself. Back your answer up like she did. You can't turn the bread back into wheat, the peanut butter back into peanuts or soy butter, and the grape jelly back into grapes or sugar, right? Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? There's two sides to it, but they called it a mixture, okay? Let's talk about oil and water. Do they like each other? Raise your hand. Why or why not? In the black, back on the left. Yeah. Um, Do they like each other? What? Do they like each other? No. No, they don't. They don't talk to each other. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. Now, where's the oil going? To the top? Where's the water going? To the bottom, right? Yeah. So that means oil is lighter than water. What's another word for that water being heavier? I don't know if you've learned this yet. The consistency. Not the consistency. Buoyance. Not buoyance. Density. Density. Okay, it's more dense. Some days you're more dense than others, okay? That water is more dense than that oil. Now that oil, when you pour it, it looks really thick, right? Especially compared to water. But it's not, okay? The water is more dense. It means heavier, okay? All right? So they don't like each other, guys. So we're going to do two flavors today, okay? All right, the first one, back to the counter. This is the beeswax and soybean oil mixed together. Does it all look the same? Yeah, nice yellow color. Oils, they like each other. So we're going to add a tangerine oil to it. Is it still going to like each other? Yeah, they'll be fine together. They're going to get along, okay? Now, the other one, we're going to add a mystery flavor to it. It's mystery dark flavor, okay? All right, it's water-based though. Is it gonna like the? Okay, all right, and we're not worried about guessing what flavor it is, because all the classes are gonna do different ones, and I promise you'll like them all. Okay, I'm letting your teacher pick them. Okay, all right. So you think this one's gonna look a little different than the other one? Yes. All right, I'm just stand right here on the rug. Hold that. Okay, bless you. Don't touch the beaker. You're just gonna pour it all in. Only way to get it all in is lift one leg, quack like a duck. Quack, quack, quack. There you go. Good job. Good job. Thank you. You can go by. All right. So, guys, did I change anything about this besides making it smell better? It smells better. It smells better. Does it all look the same? 
Yeah, it's oil based. It all looks the same, right? All right, pour it all in. Don't touch the beaker. Only the one way to get it all out is to lift your leg. Move like a cow. Moo. Good job. Okay. All right. Now, you can go back. Thank you. All right. Now, I'm going to set this one back on the beaker for a minute and let it stir. This is a stirring one, okay? Now, we talked about it. it's probably going to look different, right? That one's all the same because it was oil. That was a oil base with a what kind of water base flavoring we put into it. No, that was the citrus one. Okay, so this one looks a little bit different, right? Okay, so that one was a solution, right? Because can you take any of that apart? No. All right, raise your hand. What is this one? Yes. Mixture. Why? Because you can take out the little bits. That if you eventually let it sit and let it solidify, separate, where would that water-based flavoring go? Out. Where would the oil go? Up. Okay, I'll let you look in it. The white bean is just a mixing bean, okay? Okay, okay, but see all the big black spots? Okay, we have to mix it though to keep it together so you all can see what's going on, okay? So it is a mixture because you eventually could separate, even though it would be difficult, yes. But all that black, see, it's already almost went to the bottom, mostly in one clump, okay? All right, I'm gonna stir it again. Because all those little particles are breaking apart saying, no, I don't like you, oil. Go away. Okay, the water does, all right? Or vice versa. Because when you mix it really fast like I'm doing, I mean, it almost looks all black. Right? Okay? All right? Now, we've got two questions, guys, to wrap up here. The first one, okay, we're going to think back, okay, to early on. Remember we had the beeswax in the beaker, and then we added the soybean oil, right? They blended together to form a blank. Talk about it, decide it, pick it, turn back around, okay? All right. Let's see. So, okay, we got a little bit of everything. All right. So, guys, a mixture. Was that ever a mixture? No. We poured one thing in, poured another thing in. Could you take them back apart? No. Okay. A chain or a bond. Did we talk about either one of those? No. 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 Why would it be? We didn't talk about it though. Why would it be an option? We didn't we did. talk about it. We didn't oh. Have to it. Oh, okay. We okay. To all right. All right. But we didn't talk about anything else. If it's on a test and your teacher had done something and you hadn't talked about it, is that going to be an option? No. No. Just eliminate those options and you go to three. Okay. And then a solid, guys. Are we pouring a solid into a solid? No, so it is a solution because you couldn't take that beeswax and that soybean oil back apart, right? They're both oils. They blend together, okay? Last question. As the lip balm cools, it's changing from a blank to a blank. All right. So a mixture to a solution, no. A chain to a bond, we didn't talk about it, right? A solid to a liquid, I think that'd be kind of hard to do, to pour it. So it's coming because it was a liquid and then it's going to become a solid, right? Just going to show you the difference. Okay, this is the mystery flavor. It's already setting on the bottom. This one's already set. This is probably like an orange flavor. This is one I had in the drawer. See, it's already setting. This one's already set. Okay, so if you get the mystery flavor, yes, you're going to have little black dots in it. If not, it will be the tangerine flavor, right? This one's starting to set. This one's already set. Okay, different flavors. They're not the same flavor. Okay? get in touch with the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, the agriculture education side. Um, we do have a website um, under kyagr.com. That's the Kentucky Agriculture website, and you can find the education page. And then you can contact one of us in our areas or our boss, Elizabeth Gordon, and we will get back to you and hopefully um, get in touch with you to get booked. We do stay six months to about a year booked in advance, though. So.